too fast. We're playing too fast, all right? The first high school coach in the Hall of Fame. 1,274 wins. That is incredible. He was ahead of his time. His DNA is all over the darn game. I think he is the finest coach to ever coach. He would be up there on the Mount Rushmore of great coaches, period. If you're in basketball and you don't know Morgan Wooden, there's something wrong with you. My uncle called me up and he said that the orphanage needed a coach. It was the biggest thing in their life. They loved it. And then I got the offer to go to DeMatha High School. Math had just dropped out of the league because they were getting beat so bad. And I said, well, we can change that. The best coaches I've ever met have no self-doubt. We would be down two or three points with five seconds left in the game. He would come to the huddle and say, hey, we got him just where we want him. What's been left out of the analysis of Morgan is the role he played in the advancement of the civil rights movement. Morgan Wooten never saw color. We was the only two brothers in the vicinity. <laughs> it was the greatest basketball game ever played because Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the greatest basketball player who ever played. And he kept rising and rising <laughs> and rising. <laughs> it put high school basketball on a national level. One of the biggest challenges in my life, I, I was very honored that, through the years to have colleges express interest in me. Morgan Wood has an opportunity to coach in college in the ACC. What's he gonna do? He had his priorities all in order. What did he say, God, family, school, and mm. then basketball, and basketball, you know. basketball was at the end of his list. So before we became these great basketball players who won these championships, he taught us about life. There's never been anybody who had the influence on the overall game than Morton. His influence on the game of basketball goes across every level. This is like the godfather of basketball, and this story needs to be told.